What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off happened last time, we've mainly been firefighting against the Mughal Empire um, here in Europe while also trying to build up more of a, a navy to actually protect our ports. And we've managed to absolutely destroy another army that's been delivered. So I think we'll have bought some time with this general, Costanto Bassano, is getting better and better. Um but there's nothing much we can do now, so let's hit enter. Naturally, France declared on me. Poland's refused to join my side. Fortunately, they've actually landed their army against my garrisoned town, which is crazy useful. They want to buy plug bayonet for a grand. Yep, a grand would be very useful. Well, so what the French have done is they've opened, they've created open season on their territories in North America, to me. The Mughals retreat to go pick up another army. Barbary states grow in strength once more. The pirates continue to harass me. Obviously we've still got the Barbary States blockading our ports. If someone could do something about it, that would be great. Okay, I think the strategy... I think the strategy is to drop a... Oh, I, need to, I need to drop the army off somewhere to kill either of them quickly. May as well push. Open. Chris, peace. Yes! Peace of the Mughals, finally. That's really good. We've got this French army that we can absolutely destroy because we've got a very elite force here. Um, who else is at war with the Barbary States? Poland, us, and the pirates. No one else. They made peace with everyone else. But you guys move on to Algiers. Get ready to take that back. Keep an eye on these guys to make sure they don't do anything sneaky. And then let's take this army. And go and attack the French before they have a chance to lay siege to us. So let's annihilate the French. Trying to take back their territory. The scoundrels. I do want to continue my... My uh, island hopping. Before landing in North America. Especially there's two territories in, in Brazil. They're very, very valuable. Let's drop. Drop a big line of guns behind our line. We've got... We know they have lots of men, so we need to have a long line in order to make sure that we can take advantage of it. Well, we, well, we need to be able to A, counter their line and also want to be able to envelop So this branch of the line can move up. So let's specifically start targeting colonial line infantry. Not that it makes a huge difference, but every colonial line infantryman we kill en route to our lines is a much bigger win for us. Compared to killing militiamen, say. But I'm going to knock the speed up a bit, because it's a fairly nondescript battle for the meantime. They're going to march towards us, we're going to march towards them. Stretch my marines out a little bit more.
Yeah, they are quite strong on my right. But that's not a massive problem in of itself, especially as we've got cavalry. Soon my marines are going to... The first foot guards are going to have something to say about this. Damn, what a time to zoom in. Charge in with my cavalry. To make sure they stay away. Because they've not lost very many men. So they definitely could come back. So I just want to shatter them. on all front. It's France. Get ready with the cavalry. Sorry I'm not watching the the line battle but mainly it's because this is such a delicious way to chew up infantry. Right at the start we've managed to, we've managed to make them rout. See they're already running to try and deal with this but it's too late. Sorry, Lados. Let's run my cavalry. The center's broken. Keep my cavalry mobile. The 7th Regiment is a bit uncomfortable. Try to snipe the General's bodyguard. Damn. I'm not snipe, intercept. Let's pull my General. Nope. Form square, so we can bombard you. You can put that colonial unit. General's a good kill, so would this, so would killing the 16th. That'd be a good kill. You guys sprint in hard and fast. Kills. The colonial line is shattered, the militia is shattered, they're all shattered. Get back to help out. Okay, now 
are these men. You can have support. general to pick at these men. The general unit is dead already. The general's dead so we don't have to worry too much about making sure we shatter them. Oh wait, they are shattered as well. Beautiful. So you keep attacking the first. Just broken for now. Shattered. Good. God damn, come on. Yes, they've been shattered as well. The question is though, where's the aha? The one unit that has not presented itself. Just set everyone to go and attack the 36th. No, flee! No, get out of there. I anticipated them falling immediately, but they did not. And I didn't want my cavalry to be in there for too long because I wanted them to... I want them to not have many casualties. To not have many... To not have many uh, men to replenish before getting back to full strength. Oh, sorry, my microphone fell over. My microphone fell over and I got a sound bug. So I think I'm pretty sure this might be a problem with the cable. I have a new one. Heroic victory. So I think we all have, we've butchered that entire army. Or near as damn it. Let's just go and destroy the remnants. See, they should all be dead because I shattered them all, but. You guys, replenish what you can. Good stuff. So I think my current plan is. Still a go. Um, march onwards to attack Algier. To break one of the Barbary states. Holds. Now we're not at war with the Mughals anymore. That means we shouldn't have any raiding armies coming in. But I do still need a navy. To protect Malta. Because seemingly the AI will is more often likely to blockade it. Rather than... Or I could buy it I suppose in the end game. Didn't think about that. Didn't think about that at all. I don't need to research it. I could buy it off of countries, I suppose, late game. Or attempt to. Or steal it. Hmm. The Barbary State's going to go and try and flank me. But this is part of the reason why I want to grow my... Ooh, first of all, I don't want a sick three. I want something small like a sloop to go and occupy Belfast. Two fourth rates in the channel. Go raid Iran. Then make their way over to Safa Safaki. I don't want to build any more... Don't want to build any more ships yet. I want to build... Infantry. And what I want to do is to hit Algiers. Do I want to attack it? Probably not. 
I'd rather let them come at me and I could destroy them. That would be my preference. One second, guys. I'm going to go get a drink because I realise I've not had any anything to eat that I could do with some squash. So see you in a second, everyone. And I'm back and I feel a whole lot better. Didn't have breakfast. I haven't had breakfast or lunch and it's now half twelve. And yeah, just been recording quite well. But yes, I want to attack these guys and force them to come at me and run into my lines because my army's a bit depleted for this. And hopefully I'll take Algiers and Tripoli, then I want to send an army to go and hit Paris to make the French pay for what they've done. Similarly, here at the Windward Islands... I don't really... I'm not... Hold on, let's see if I can actually move out yet. Technically I could. But when they replenish, I'm going to go sail and I'm going to go hit Martinique on the... Actually... No, first I'm going to go take out the pirates. First. Then go take these territories. Then come back and get Martinique. I think that's a good idea. So let's hit end turn. So that's the entire French stack moving down, but there's no, there were no troops attached, which was quite nice. Uh, they want division of... See, they're allied with France, so I don't... But do I just... Yeah, tech for tech. Division of labour is probably more useful for them, but I've already got a bit of a bottleneck on research, so... I guess I'll take it. Go on, Sweden. Fight. Go fight Russia. They're the big enemy. They're the one you're most concerned about. Not little old me. Aha! Good. So now we can fight them without mortars, which means next time they'll be ripe for the attack. Let's do this. So you've got to remember the main force is coming, will be coming in from the our right. Our right flank. That will be where the main focus is coming from. That's where the garrison will be coming from, at least. So let's put one set of guns facing this way. One set of guns facing this way. So my infantry are depleted, but they're not so depleted as to be useless. And sometimes depleted units can be handy to fill in little gaps. Like that. So let's drop you guys like that. Pikemen are going to fire fight in the center and, f and go as and when they're as and where they're needed. You guys go here. Deploy these guys out on the left to push this to, to push against this force. These guys deploy back here to see where the enemy's gonna deploy. One second, I've got to clear my nose. Mighty strange. My cavalry is weak. But let's put the lion share to go face the non-garrison army that's coming. You guys can just hold here.
let's drop my pikes here. Come on, though, man. It's a whole lot of camels. Actually, you might be needed more over here already. Blast them. Come on, they're coming in. Clear them out. They may do damage to my guns, but it will not last. one more blast of canister shot see if you can break them or shatter them oh. he goes fire round shot at the camels at the rear about the camels. These men are going to get ready to fire by rank into these Amazons. Facing, facing off the camels. Barbary pirates are charging in. There we go. Hit this unit of camel nomads. Or have my guns bugged out? Very handy. Deploy my cavalry. Let's clear out. Flank, limber up my guns. Yep, my guns are bugged. Hey, the their, inf their infantry came back. Not for long. So then when our guns are ready, deploy up on this hill. You guys may as well wave, you're useless where you are. Make sure you guys 
run. You guys go more up here. Kill that Amazon unit. You guys push on. And go hit the Barbary Pirates. And here we go. This is what they can never. The Barbary States can never match. Is just pure firepower. big block of pirates and desert warriors trying to charge our line there we go as the, as the volleys come in of you guys hit the desert warriors these men are confident then they are steady then they are shaken then they are wavering break them the Rosas. You and them burn, you keep hitting those camels in the rear with round shots. Good stuff. You guys both go off those Barbie pirates. Kill them all! So let's take you guys. Gun my general forward and let's jump a speed because the next job is going to be you guys into square, stop the artillery shooting, run the pikes into the those dudes. Charge the Amazons, you guys, charge the Desert Warriors. Damn right, we're gonna continue. There we go, everyone's chasing someone down. Come on, one guy. There we go. All these guys kill this one Amazon. You kill those two men there. Close victory. Wasn't close. That was good stuff. Look at that. Killed 2,100 men. Yeah, you're done for, Buster. Poland's declared war on me. Oh my god. And they've been joined by everyone. My king has died. Please be a better monarch. Okay, so I'm at war with everyone again. Immediately. Well, damn. Insediamento assediato! Shouldn't have moved off. We're going to take the city. I'm 
minor nations peace with the Barbary states. Nope, that's never going to happen, but I had to try it. Let's go try auto resolve this naval battle, see if we can see if the other things balance. Oh no. Nope. I'm not going to lose both my fourth rates in that manner. You guys can leave Algiers, can't you? What if I exempt you from tax? What if I exempt you from tax and leave a unit of artillery there? Actually, if I leave both my units of artillery, these guys can march out, kill them, and they've got enough movement points to get back in the city. Well, just. We are going to tax them. New national leader, Antoine the first. Poland disputes my claim to the throne. Oh, right. It's because I'm the Knights of St. John. That's what they don't like. Okay, let's get a unit out to Anaba. And uh, watch out, London. It does give us lots of targets here, though. <laughs> in the in the med, no, in the med in the Caribbean. In Exempt you from tax. Pop you over to Guadeloupe. Take advantage of this and go hit Cuba. Cuba is a very, very wealthy region. And the main thing with Cuba is it gave, we get towns as well. What we get? A town, two ports. We definitely don't want to pass that up. Yeah, so we took Algiers. It's gonna, we're going to take a bit of a pummeling because of it. And now it's on. It's on. <laughs> We're at war with so many, so many countries. Is France going to go pick up more men? My intention is to take the army in Algiers and sail it by ship over to Tripoli to quickly destroy them. So I don't have any trade problems just dragging me down for too long. But damn, that really sucks. That really, really sucks. The War of Succession. At least I've got Britain. Be all the Catholic nations of Europe have come after me. Kingston's blockaded, that's okay. Siamo pronti. You guys replenish. Battaglioni Demand pronti. the surrender of the city. Fix the city, but then march south, pronti. ready. Exempt them from tanks. Keep you guys exempt from tax. Oh god, it's from New Spain as well. In Louisiana, I expect. Oh, this is all French. Mostly French, anyway. You guys replenish. Pair the shipyard. I mean, if, if you want Curacao, so my thinking here is making peace with the Barbary states. A, it gets them, it stops them from blockading my ports. Well, chiefly, that's it. 
And the reason why this, I think, is a good deal is it stops them from blockading our ports. We give them a territory in another theatre, so they are still only one nation in Europe. So if we want to kill them, it's still easy. I think this is a no-brainer. Because my plan was to use my army to attack somewhere like Madrid instead. So now we've got trade once more, or our ports are not blockaded. Keep going for peace. Not that I really expected to do much good. Then we're on to 10 grand a turn. Region captured. Yeah, we've got Cuba. Tactical retreats. That's handy, because you can then garrison the port. Yep. Don't mind giving up Curacao. I mean, obviously, this ship is now a bit buggered. No, it's not. It's only a brig. Try to take him out. <laughs> ah. They lost. <laughs> Sad face. Um, but yes, I think, overall, it was worth giving up 765 income to gain our trade back, which is worth 7,000. Because it also means that we could, or we will, fight against some of the more colonial powers in Europe, as much as I don't want to. Looks like I'm going to have to. All the while expanding territory by territory at a time in the Americas, and I do want Caracas. Because it means I could actually recruit troops, like proper troops here, rather than whatever I can get from a governor's barracks. But, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode, and I think that's quite a good time to end the episode on because next up it is an hour special so we kind of entered a new phase in the campaign and then we get to get to spend an hour trying to deal with it so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed i'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the knights of st john cheers everyone